Okay, Vincent, let's focus and come together to make our beef wellington. We are going to be following the instructions from this recipe precisely, okay? And this will allow us to create the best medium well beef wellington. Alright, first of all, it says that we have to wrap the beef tightly and allow it to chill overnight. I don't have that time. Now, we don't have time for that because this is due in an hour, so we're just going to have to work our way around it, but we can figure this out later on. And secondly, it says that we're going to sear the beef fillet in a hot pan. Do we have a hot pan? I don't see no hot pan here. No hot pan. Okay, can you just go look for that later? Okay, and then after that, we're going to have to chop up the mushrooms and also the thyme leaves. Uh, Did we get thyme leaves? Look, Denise, it's okay. I know it's a lot to take in, but you don't have to be perfect in everything. In my eyes, you're already perfect. Thanks. But it sucks to feel so incapable at something that seems so simple. Something that everyone is so good at and they even have fun doing. If only cooking were as simple as the Birch and Swinerton Dyer conjecture. And you know, even in art class, I only managed to pass because Zen Hao helped. I've never failed a class before. But I think I really might to do it. Hey! Who said anything about failing? Denise, let's cook! Denise, how's the pastry? It's looking good. Denise, pass me the salt! Denise, add some butter, some thyme, and garlic. Basic good, basic good. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's my friends is how you make a beef Wellington. I might have made it a little different, but you know, it still looks great. Who knew that you could do this, Vince? Well, Popo only knows how to make bland porridge, so I have to pick up a thing or two. <laughs> Want to give me a try? Oh no, it's too hot.